<laughs> you keep thinking it's gonna work. Uh, yeah, yeah, and it just doesn't. Did you lick that thing? I'm just licking it. Oh my goodness <laughs> sake. Because you made it. I made it for you. Yeah, my right. Val my Valentine. Yes. It's a work of art. Babe. It is. Oh my goodness. It's um it's quarter to twelve. Am I supposed to eat Oreos for lunch? <laughs> what are you doing? I love Oreos. You do? Mm hmm I bought these. Here, you want one? Something's mm, singing yeah. over there. Mm -hmm. You better check that. Oreos. Mm -hmm. Okay. You dip them in milk or iced tea. Doesn't matter. Iced tea? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've never heard of that before. Mm -hmm. So, um, is this for a special occasion or something? Yes, it is. This video that we're going to do right now that I'm going to do, it's a brand new, I've never done this um, recipe before. Uh-oh. I'm a little nervous <laughs> about it because it deals with, um, actually, it, there's no baking, but it is a baking type project. If, in other words, I'm oh. doing a cake. Yes. I'm doing a cake. It's a cheesecake. It's a no-bake cheesecake. It's a triple chocolate no-bake cheesecake. Oh, no-bake. No-bake, oh, which I really good. like, yeah. yeah. And so, um, I'm going to make it for you. I found this recipe. It looked very intriguing. Wow. And this video is going to be going, to be going out or being uploaded uh, to YouTube on February the 8th. February the oh, 8th yes. is six days before, before Valentine's, the Valentine's. Day. So I thought, well, why not give everybody something that they could do yes. for Valentine's? And so um, that's what this is going to be. It's a Valentine's Day. And because I'm not here with you on Valentine's Day, I'm out of the country, I thought, well, I know. Yes. That's right. Valentine's. That's right. And See, he's not here. I'm not there. So here's the deal. I thought I'd make this. We've got some company coming here in a couple of days. This will be ready and we'll be able to and eat I'll it save there. A piece and you'll for save, a, save a piece for Valentine's. There you go. And I could even take a piece with me, but it wouldn't get through no, customs. No, I don't think so. Mm -hmm, of any country. No. All right. So this is what we're going to do. And I'm going to. It's not the first time you've left me on Valentine's. No, it is not at all. No. In fact, it's <laughs> usually around Valentine's that I am overseas I or something. No. Hey, I want to do a poll. Oh yeah, do it, Paul. Sure, okay. I like this. Yeah. No, mm -hmm. you don't know. Oh, this okay. Pole. Tell me. How do you uh, eat your Oreos mm. with the tops off? They're separated. Separated mm -hmm. or together, mm -hmm. and dipped in something or not? Yes. And what do you dip it in? I've seen people do tea, coffee, milk. Coffee. Of course, is a biggie. Milk. Coffee or tea would work for mm -hmm. me. Iced tea, if you're that. Hot that flavor. tea would work for me. Hot tea, yeah. Mm -hmm. You want it hot? I would want hot tea to dip a cookie in. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Let us know. Yep. Let us know. Yeah. I may do another poll too because I want to sort of know what people do for uh, for Valentine's. For Valentine's, yeah. Oh wow. And sort of what their uh, how many have tradition. we had together now? I well, I mean we've been married for forty nine years. This no, year, September. 49 in September. It's 48 yes. years, and we probably were dating a couple years before no, we got married. No, no, we were no, longer No, we together. were dating one Are year. Are you sure? Yes. Really? We knew each other the year before, but we didn't date. Well, we did date uh, earlier, but no. you If you want to watch about no, that, but you didn't wanna, that you video. Didn't, <laughs> after the first date, you didn't want to date me for about six, eight months. And I had, and I saw, I left you alone and you, you came chasing after me. Anyway, See, that's a whole was, story. If you want the story, you have to watch the video. You just threw yourself at my feet. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyhow, we got to get doing this so it's not baking but we got to get putting okay this together. so you'll see it and it uses yes. oreo you're no, gonna love minute. this okay. yes oreo yeah, so, we're gonna yeah. show you all right here we go okay anyhow here it goes the no bake triple chocolate cheesecake mm, it's gonna be good what you start out with is i've already sort of done it i um have a spring form pan and i put um a, a piece of uh, parchment paper on the bottom and tighten it everything down that's the spring form part. And then I sprayed all the inside and just so that it's going to be a little bit easier to mess with when we get this all put together. And what we, excuse me, what we make our base out of, you can make it out of chocolate wafers or all sorts of things, but you can make it out of Oreo cookies. 
Ooh. And so I need about, there's four, I need about 30, 32 of them in here. So what would you do if you didn't have one of those Four food ten. processors? You can roll you them with can, a You can roll it, yeah, or, just beat it or something. Uh -huh. Put them in a bag. Yeah, hey, I'm going to lose count. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> yeah. well, I think that was 15, geez, whatever. Mm -hmm. 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28. 30. I better put in two more just to be safe. <laughs> hey, I think I know what God Gosh. meant when he said he was making a help meet. Yes, what is that? A distraction. Yeah, total distraction. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this goes back on my, uh, and this is just for me the easiest way to do this thing. At least it's not a blender. Nope, that's right. And you're going to crush <laughs> this and pulse it down pretty good. Okay. And I know what some of you are thinking. Do you take the uh, frosting out of the Oreo? No, leave it in. It's all going to blend together. It's going to be so That'll good. That'll be good. Yeah, of course it will be. So now that that's blended, now we're just going to add some things. And by the way, if you see a big chunk, just mess with it here. But now we're going to add some things and, and, blend, and blend it. And then the last part before I put it in the spring form pan is I'm going to add uh, five tablespoons of... Uh, melted uh, unsalted butter so I've, I've got to do that but before I do that I'm going to put in two tablespoons of confectionery sugar <coughs> so here we go with that so yeah, two tablespoons of con and I need that more of that later I'm going to do one tablespoon of cocoa powder and I should have gotten this out but I forgot but here we go so I'm going to do one tablespoon you know anytime you're doing baking kind of stuff you need to be pretty accurate with things so there's one tablespoon of cocoa powder and that's some good stuff Ooh, that's a dutch process Ooh, that's gonna be good and then what i need is just a pinch of salt is what they call for and you always want to obviously add salt with um with chocolate. uh chocolate it just brings out the flavor really 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 well so why don't you and i'm going to butter do what now? Why don't you use salted butter? Uh, no, because that's a t that will do different. I'm sorry. I, I, oh. No, I, and I can't explain it to you. You're not. <laughs> well, there you go. You know, if you got to, just shake it around a little bit and and make sure it's all getting mixed around. That's really what I want here. So let me try, try some more here. There we go. Now. I can what see I it. Want to do? Yeah, a little bit, but that's okay. It's all going to get into here. What I want to do is in this bowl now come over here i want to take this and put it in this bowl take this out there we go i shouldn't have worn white <laughs> yeah there you go big first mistake first mistake put it in here and if you see any big chunks in we'll look for it in a second but there isn't any i, I think see my any. blender does i mean my food processor does pretty good want that all in there and now I'm going to put over this the five tablespoons of melted butter and I'm going to mix this up really good and get it moist dump it in here and then we're going to form the base here and of course you don't want this too hot then you won't be able to touch it and help form you it, do it up with your hands yeah well you form it with your hands but of not course I'm, I'm trying to keep some of that milk fat out of there and a little bit of it won't hurt anyhow so there we go all righty and honestly i think what i'm going to do just so that i don't here, I am gonna take there this you in go. like this and we're going to form this and get this all moistened up with that base and this is going to be a good this is the first part of the triple chocolate right here mm. this is the base then we're going to do a cream cheese of course for the for the uh, cream, uh, the cheesecake, we're gonna do a cream cheese middle, and then we're gonna do a chocolate ganache on top. So it's going to be very, very, very good. There we go, pretty good now, and I think we can do this now. There we go. Ooh, it's like playing in the mud. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to drop this right into this uh, spring form that I've got, just like that. And now we're going to. Press it out, move it all to the side, and I'm going to, at the same time, I am going to begin to lift 
the crumbs up, the base up, against the side. And so I want to bring from the middle, like all the way around, and bring it up. It's hard to see because it's it, it, because it's dark. Yeah, I know yeah. it. Yeah. Sorry about that, but no. But I meant even for you doing it. Yeah, it is a little bit difficult, and my my spring form is a little dark. That's probably right. one of the reasons here. Yeah, definitely. Mm-hmm. And I want that up along the side like that. I did spray a little bit with the cooking spray. The on the side. On the side, even. Mm -hmm. So that it'll un come come apart when it's supposed to, you know. <laughs> it'll release. <laughs> it release, yes. Mm -hmm. And so again, I'm just wanting that up like that, and try to get it as uniform. I'm not the best with this kind of stuff, you know me with rolling out pie dough has not always been my favorite thing either but you just do what you can do and part of it of the valentines is that i love you and it's the thought that counts <laughs> i'll think about that when i eat that pace and you're way far away from me yeah well i may have to go out to a restaurant alone oh no don't do or that. with a couple of my buddies who yeah right <laughs> who left their wives who left their wives <laughs> to go on this trip mm -hmm. and what i'm going to do is when i get this all and i'm actually going to take a, a cup or a glass or something and even push it down and press it in here but what i want to do after that i'm going to put this in the uh, fridge and let it cool down um before i get um before i get um the filling inside of it. You know, if you leave too much in the corners, like on the edges, then it's just real thick. It's real thick, and that's what yeah. I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get that out. Even more even. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Even down there. Yeah, and even. Using that to come up to the sides here, right, right up here, see? Yep. And that's sort of what I'm trying to do. So again, it's playing in the mud. You thought those years, in kindergarten and first grade, and four-year-old, uh, preschool or whatever, when you played in the mud were, mud were wasted years, they were not. I do want to go all the way around inside here, and I want to push this down as well. And although this recipe is a little more uh, intense, maybe is a good word, it's still not going to be a hard thing to do, particularly because I don't have to put it in a water bath or all that whole hoo-ha, you know, that you'd usually do with a cheesecake. I'm so happy about that. Now I do want to tell you, you got to do this the day before, or two days before, uh, because it does need to set and set up rather uh, overnight. And so you want to do that. Okay, so there it is. That's all done, and it's sort of pretty even. I've got a little short spot over here, but I'm not going to worry about it. So there yeah, you go. So that goes good. in the fridge. And now I'm going to come back and I'll show you what comes next. Hey, okay, now I'm back and I'm getting ready to do my filling. And what I need is, uh, for the filling, is I need eight ounces of semi-sweet uh, baking chocolate, basically. And I've got two bricks of four ounces each here. And all you want to do is you want to chop that down. And you could put, you can melt this in different ways, however you want. I find the best way, and I've done it on all sorts of things I've done, is putting it uh, in a double, uh, boiler like kind of, is that what they call it double like steamer or whatever where I have about an inch of water it's a duller, double broiler broiler you, that's what yeah, it is and um, an inch of water on the bottom and then I'm gonna chop this stuff down pretty good and I'm going to then slowly let it melt over that steaming water now I don't want that water boiling and I don't want that water touching uh, the bottom of my uh, bowl that this chocolate is in or else I'm going to have a real mess on my hands. I just want it to slowly melt. And so that's how we're going to put this together. And like I said, I'm just sort of chopping it down here uh, where it's manageable and it'll melt a little bit quicker too and a little bit more evenly. So there we go. So I'll get this going and come right back at you. So I put my stove on a medium, medium high heat. Uh, I've got that saucepan over there with about an inch of water on the bottom. I'm just sticking all of this in this bowl. And what you want to do is put it over there and then don't forget about it. Keep paying attention to it so that it melts and every once in a while you need to go over there and stir that. So that's what we're doing there. And you sort of get that ready 
Now I'm gonna deal with the cream cheese and I'll work on that next and figure that out. What I've got in my mixing bowl now is three bricks of eight ounces each of cream cheese. So, you know, whatever brand you want. I actually just did the Publix brand. It's a little bit cheaper and it's all gonna have flavor added to it. So it's not going on my bagel. So you're not gonna tell the difference. And you wanna mix this until it's creamy. Oh, hang on, Sue, would you plug that in or make sure it's oh, plugged that in? that makes a difference. Thank okay. you. And you wanna do this on medium high until it's really, really creamy. Now I've had those cream cheese flops in there for about an hour and a half or so because I want them at room temperature else you're just gonna fight with that. So don't do that. So about one minute on that, okay? And, and make sure you get it nice and creamy and you'll know when. Then I'm going to add to that in just a few moments and mix it together after I sort of scrape the sides and all. I'm gonna add one and a third cup of confectionery sugar. I'm going to add two tablespoons of cocoa powder and I also have a pinch of salt in there and I'm going to add that and mix that together. And then after that's done, we're going to add some cream, heavy cream, and we're going to add um, uh, some of, of this uh, chocolate that I'm melting over there and, and also a little bit of uh, vanilla extract. I don't want to forget that. And then that's going to sort of make up my filling. Okay, as you can see, it's pretty creamy, and I've done it for about a minute, minute and a half, and that just, oh, that did nice. Now, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put in my confectionery sugar. I've learned my lesson the hard way. I'm going to put this in, and then I'm going to actually fold it in a little bit. I'm gonna put in my salt, pinch of salt, and my two tablespoons of uh, cocoa. cocoa powder. And let me just fold that a little bit, or else we'll have a snow cloud here. <laughs> and I just don't want it. Like I say, I've learned my lesson over many mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> you keep thinking it's gonna work. Uh, and yeah, it and does. it just doesn't every time. No, but it is very entertaining. It, uh, well, I'm sure it is to somebody. <laughs> okay, so let's just do that. Do so that. I noticed you're using the paddles with the rubber on yeah, the Yeah, I do, absolutely. Okay, now, very slow. It's on this side. I know, I'm just All locking right. it down. <laughs> There we go, okay. Go. And about medium until that all gets in corporate. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, that's gonna be really good. Until that all gets incorporated. And uh, and then, once that does, and that's gonna go pretty fast, we're gonna wait for that chocolate, and then we're gonna put that in along with the van uh, vanilla extract. So I'll be right back at you. Okay, as you can see, it's melting very good. And really, you don't want it too hot so that you can't even touch the bowl. You can touch the bowl here, there's no heat at all. And just every once in a while stir it and all those pieces are going away and this is gonna be great. Now I will tell you this, once this is done, I'm gonna take it off the steam and I'm gonna uh, just put the jar, I mean the bowl, excuse me, to the side because I want this to cool a little bit before it goes into the uh, mix over there. Okay, now while my chocolate is over here cooling, I'm going to add to this mixture one uh, half cup of heavy cream plus, and the recipe calls for plus, two tablespoons of heavy cream as well. Okay, that's going to go in there. And then I'm going to add to it two teaspoons of vanilla extract. And make sure you got a good vanilla extract too. And that's done. And then what you want to do is you want to very slowly, of course, just move that around. There we go. And just combine it for about 30 seconds. And then it, that's all it will take at a very low speed like this. And then we're going to come back and we're going to add the chocolate that's melted and cooled for 30 seconds. And then I'm going to move that to high, high speed and beat for maybe another 30 seconds. And then we're done with the filling. Okay, my chocolate, that eight ounces of chocolate, semi-sweet, is ready. So I'm gonna pour this in. And then we're gonna mix this all together. And by the way, don't you worry, I'm getting every bit of chocolate that could possibly be gotten out of this bowl. Yeah, you wanna use my spatula over there. It's more flexible than yours. Really? Yeah. But mine is actually from a real live kitchen store. 
Well, mine is from Pampered Chef, oh, which know. was, in my time, a real-life kitchen store. <laughs> it was. I know it was. Yeah. We didn't have those others. Mm -mm. No, all you had was what they would do for restaurants and stuff, yep. and that was all and industrial. Kmart. Mm -hmm. Okay. I did the best I could. All righty. So that, get that all off there. There we go. Look at that. I mean, this is good. This is something even guys can make. If I can make it, they can make it. So real slow, and we're gonna do about 30 seconds on low. There we go. Get that all going. I'd like to see your brothers try to make it. Well, that's true. <laughs> My brothers, yes. Your brothers, Yeah. Awesome. And now we're gonna go up for another 30 seconds or so and get it all nice and whipped up here. I'd like to see your son try to make it. Yeah, it'd be fun. See if Luke can do it. All righty. Now, that is incorporated. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring out, and this is where it gets a little dicey. I'm gonna bring out my base that's been there, and I'm gonna get ready to pour this in to that base, pour the filling in. So this becomes part two of the triple chocolate no-bake cheesecake. If you don't like my fingers, turn aside, turn, turn away. I am putting my fingers in here to get all that goodness. <laughs> and uh, too bad if you don't like it. No, I'm oh. getting it. my spatula. Oh. oh, I thought you were looking to lick something here. Nope. Okay. See how more, much more flexible? Here, put that on there and try to get some of that off of there then. Okay. Ooh, and that's set up real nicely. It is really hard to get. It is to get all in there. I, and I'll it's I'll all, there's going to be plenty anyhow, so I'm not too worried. But this is where it'll come. Yeah, in. and I'm going to bring that over well, here. Well, I get to lick the rest. Yeah, yeah. Well, here, let me do this. All righty. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to put that in here. And then we're going to spread it out, make it even as best we can. And you really want to make sure, even as you're going in, this is why I'm not just flipping it over. I'm making sure that there's no pieces. You know, sometimes at the bottom of the mixing bowl, you can get where it didn't quite get blended or something. You don't want that. You want to get it all incorporated and so this gives you a chance to look and see some of you I know are watching this and you're starting to drool a little bit just like I am I'm not drooling did you lick that thing I'm just licking it oh my goodness <laughs> sake. Susan. why not what, what if I need more here no nope. that's it we did pretty good mm -hmm. I love this it's no bake that's really what the best part of this is because cheesecakes are they're okay to do but they're challenging at best because of the you don't want them to crack all that business that you got to deal with and worry about we're going to get this all moved don't around you like that spatula yeah it's nice yeah Actually, very nice it is nice there you go looks great doesn't it though yeah and then the third part is going to be made here in a bit, little bit and go on top. And that covers really the top? Want, and that covers the top. Does it drizzle down the side? Uh, it gets in there, you know, kind of like, yeah. But the spring form doesn't let it go down a lot, you know. But you get it all the way over, though, for sure. Yum. Mm -hmm. And again, I'm really not wanting to be too perfect here. But if I can get it pretty smooth, that's sort of what I want to do. Yeah, it looks good. Mm -hmm. The ganache will go on top, and then when you take it out of the spring form, you may have a little bit of crust up on top, but you can break that off and make everything even. Yeah, you can see on this side where it's low, right there. Right here? here. Right in here. Okay. So if you look sideways. Oh yeah, okay. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Since you're being perfect. I'm right. I might as well help you help be me. more perfect. Help me, help me. Well, you know it's going to be the best cheesecake you've ever had. Because you made it. Because I made it. That's right. Because <laughs> you made it. I made it for you. Yeah, my right. Va my Valentine. Yes. <laughs> does it look even, Sue? Or, it does. I mean, yes. I don't want it to. I mean, this seems low right in here, actually. Yeah, you could that. just go forever. Yeah, it's you good could, now. You could, couldn't you? Yep, it looks good. Just Are you sure? It. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Now I'm going to put this in the fridge for a little bit. Not that you have to per se, but I'm going to just keep it there uh, while I get... Okay, we'll come back in a few moments and show you. <laughs> okay, now it comes to part three and the final part of a triple chocolate no-bake cheesecake. 
I need two thirds cup of heavy cream. I'm gonna put that in this saucepan. And then I'm gonna take this saucepan over to the stove on uh, the burner and I am going to heat this. I don't want it to boil, but I do want it to uh, get warm. And it's gonna take a few moments and I'm gonna not do it at, at a high temperature at all. But I, I want it to get warm enough so that when I pour it, and this is what you gotta understand, when I pour it over, and by the way, here's my other chalk, uh, block of chocolate, but I only need three ounces, so I cut a quarter of it off. When I pour it over these chocolates that I'm gonna chop here, I'm going to mix this with that heavy cream poured over, and I'm gonna mix it until it's all um, melted. And that is going to make my ganache. And so that's what we're gonna do next. So I'll get this all ready and I'll show you how we mix it all together and pour Can it on the- Can you make it early like this? Yeah, 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 yeah. Cause it's yeah. gonna sit overnight. It has to stay uh, set up overnight yeah. in the, um, in the um, fridge. Oh, even this? Yeah, you need at least eight hours, yes. Mm -hmm. oh. Because you want this ganache to have a nice, um, uh, sheen and uh, you Won't know. Won't it be too thick by the time it's no, been no, in the fridge all night? No, no. Mm -mm. It's no. just chocolate milk. It's <laughs> no, it's not. No, no, basically it's cream and chocolate. It's so cream it's and chocolate. Not yes. Anything to thicken up. So it's up. gonna. It's nothing that can thicken up. It's okay. going to. It's going to have a, a a crust to it in the sense of it's going to when you cut in it's going to be there. Yeah. But it's not going to be. Well, it's not going to be inedible. I know that. Yes, but so, it, it doesn't pour over the cheesecake. Yes, it does. Okay. I'm going to pour this over. I, I guess I have asking. to wait to see. You got to wait to see. So okay. does everybody else. Okay. All right. Here we go. You're Ready? on. Oh, okay, great. <laughs> Look at. I've got my uh, cream simmering, not boiling, but simmering, and it's pouring over. And I really chopped those down pretty small because I don't want to have to spend a lot of time. That'll melt them, huh? It'll melt them. And we just want to keep stirring it like this until everything comes together. You can see it turning colors. Isn't that so cool? So I said it's just chocolate milk. It is, really. <laughs> and listen, when you get this on top, you're going to tilt it ever so slightly to um, get it into the edges and everything like that. And just want to make sure it's got a good layer all the way across the top. And then you're going to put it in the fridge for eight hours and wow. do not cover it. Leave it in the fridge for eight hours and then overnight is what I'm gonna do here and it's gonna be even more than eight. And then I'm gonna pull it out, I'm gonna decorate it and I'll show you how to do that when I pull it out and take the spring form off and all that kind of stuff. So there you go. Wait, 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 you got chocolate over here on the inside. Oh, do I? Oh, yeah. thank you. Yeah, on the yeah. edge, down in the corners. Okay, is that better? Yep. That's Good better. girl. Thank you for seeing that. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, so basically, let's just see if I can do it this. Looks like it might be some more, but I see you pour it on now. I thought mm -hmm. you set the mm -mm. chocolate in the fridge for mm -mm. eight hours mm -mm. without mm -mm. pouring it on. Mm -mm. <laughs> mm -mm. <laughs> oh, Susan, this is going to be so good, particularly for those chocolate fans. And I'm not actually a very big chocolate fan. Nope. But, but cheesecake, you like cheesecake. But cheesecake I do like. And so what I'm gonna do, look at, I'm just gonna make sure it all goes to the edge. Everything goes to the edge. Just like that. And there it is. You see how it smoothed everything out? So I love this. I really do. I like when things work. It's like a create it's like a work of art. That's right. The ganache is on part three of the triple chocolate no baked cheesecake. Goes in the fridge overnight. We'll bring it out tomorrow and I'll show you how we decorate. Okay, hi everyone. It's the next morning on our no bake triple chocolate cheesecake. I just pulled it out of the fridge. And what I also did is the um, recipe tells you to take a butter knife and go around it very slowly, which I did. And now all you do is release the spring form and you pray. <laughs> That's all I know to do. And off that comes and you lift this right up and there is yeah. your uh cheesecake wow. and what i'm going to do is take this this is my platter we're going to put this on 
Oh, you're gonna lift it on there? Yeah, well, you, you're gonna... Take it off? Take it off. Just gonna... leave it on. No. Oh, you're brave. I know I am totally brave. Sticking that tongue out? I know it. <laughs> <laughs> you need all the help you can get, right? No, no, I'm gonna be good, I think. <laughs> and we're gonna just push that right over to there. And that paper, if you hold on the paper, the bottom it should, there it is. It should just slide. So there's out. paper under it. There will be That's paper right. under. Clean it up a little bit here. And you might have a few crumbs on it, but that's it. There you go, good job. Oh my goodness. And you clean this all up. And then look at what I'm going to do. I want to take some of this overlap down a little bit, just because I like things looking right. So you could probably do that when you put this stuff in the pan. Yes, you probably should and yeah. could. Yes, yeah. absolutely. All right. Ah, looks kind of pretty. Yeah. And all I'm going to do, actually, it looks sort of neat yeah, anyhow, it doesn't does. it? Yeah. So I'll just leave it. And what I want to do is I'm going to decorate it with some, which I thought I had in here, some strawberries. You do. And they've got to be in here somewhere. Oh, here they are. <laughs> there we go. Oh, you're going to like this. These are all washed, ready to go. Split them in half, and you're going to put, I'm gonna do it this way, so let's say 12 o'clock and six o'clock. Oh, turn it inward. Right, right. Yeah. And then three o'clock. So you try to get them even, huh? Right. And nine o'clock, and then in between. So you want 12 pieces? I want 12 pieces. At least. Mm. It's a work of art, babe. It is. Oh my goodness. There you go. My cheesecake for company that's coming today. Mmm. I'm pretty. your cheesecake for Valentine's Day. And my cheesecake for Valentine's mm -hmm. Day. Mm -hmm. Now, in a little bit, I'll cut it and show you. But this really, then every, you got 12 pieces and it's sweet. I mean, they're not going to want more. You're not well, going to so, want to eat the whole no. piece. No. And, um, and when you do, listen, here's what you do. In fact, I'm going to show you what you do. Okay, when you cut it, hot water, very hot water, and put your knife in there. I should have it a little taller. Put your knife in there. Let that get all hot. Take it out and cut, and you're going to have a much smoother cut with that hot knife and you'll be able to cut your pieces. So I'll show it when I my company comes, I'll show you some pictures of it all cut and um, maybe a couple of them eaten it or whatever, but there it is. Now that's easy enough, make it yourself, you'll love it.